Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Who's <laughs> intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory, make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective <laughs> and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. So I guess that's my new partner. I went through the tutorials now and stuff. I just wanted to get to like to the actual case game. Everything. You start out as an officer, LAPD, in the 40s. If you haven't played L.A. Noir, that's kind of the background of the game. If it's all right with you, sir. Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it to those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. Hardy, hardy, hard. <laughs> knows traffic inside now. I'm gonna start you out with one case. You okay? I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousting vagrants and running license plates. Sorry, like moving on my screen. Get down to the PE Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. All right. Let me get out of the office, too. I'm going to make them take me to the pictures tonight. They really pushed you through quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. This dude sounds like he's a little jealous, if I say. He has a cool brown hat, though, so, I mean... I don't know what he's jealous of. I couldn't walk. What'd that woman just say? <gasps> what the heck? Oh, he's gonna make me That's drive. I heard he's an honest cop. Oh, there's an honest one. You know this place? Sure. Just near the old gas works and signal gear uh, uh, warehouse. Uh, All right. I'll direct. I'll direct. Nah, no, I'm gonna direct myself, and we're so, driving. Tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Rakowski? We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. Went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Reno CS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant. Fought in the Okinawa campaign. I was wounded. Shipped back home. Did a year on the beat. Now here. Open your eyes! So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No. You were up there all night, draped in the flag, knife between your teeth, gun at the ready. Finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Mikhail. My driving is horrible. Do? I kept the streets of LA safe. I'm trying not to hit anything. Yeah. It's kind of hard when no, you want to go it. fast. Unfit for service. It has the same mechanics as GTA 4 did. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riots. Eleven King, go ahead, KGP. Oh, it's like a side oh, mission. Officer, he has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. 
<laughs> Move out the way, lady. We're real detectives. Get off the corner. Bandit. 12 o'clock. Give it up now. Make it easy on yourself. Get the hell away from me. Uh oh, we're gonna use the drain again? Alright. We gotta catch this boy. I think you broke my nose. I thought he said toes. I think you broke my toes. Subdue? What does that mean, like, kill him? Is somebody gonna tell us what the hell is going on? Where did he go? My man! Why are we gotta run after him? Does subdue mean kill him? Now, are we gonna make a bargain or what? How long do you think you can hold out? You want to back off right now. You fucking asked for it! Wait. Did the guy die? <laughs> I don't even know what happened. <laughs> it all went so fast. Oh, I'm confused. Oh, it's a thing. One out of 40. There's 40 street crimes. Complete a single street crime case. Cool. We gotta get back in our car and go to the actual mission we were doing. Come on. Stewarnski. I forgot his name. We are here to ensure public peace in all your communities by running red lights and not looking both ways when we cross the road. And we are here. That you, Bukowski? Bukowski. Going through. Parking lot straight ahead. Was that his name? And I said Slowinski or something. <laughs> I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. Huh. Just give them a story. Man, that guy's car looks whack. All of our cars it's look your whack. your first case, Phelps. It's okay They're to admit dirty. you're stumped. You don't know what to do next. Just come <laughs> talk to me and... We'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. We're gonna run because we want to make a scene. Is that my old partner? I'm Officer Hart. No. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? <clears throat> Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Intuition. Mm. But I kind of want to look around. Doc, Detective Phelps, what have we got? A lot of blood for a blood force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. <laughs> well, obviously. Any sign of the guy? He's not there anymore. Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. Oh. Have they not opened the trunk? Doesn't tell me anything. Mm. 
There we go. I thought I was gonna go for the other pipe again. I've been like, ah. Mr. F. <coughs> Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday. A live hog. Okay, that doesn't tell me anything. All right. <clears throat> oh wow. Victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. He's probably dead. Can I do anything else here? Let's look around a bit. Ooh. Adrian Black. Happier times, I guess. She looks like she's wanting to kill somebody. She's giving you that look. I'm fine with that stuff. Oh. 32 years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? That we are yet to find out. Watch, we're gonna get him and. He's gonna be like blind. Look, I'll find him. Where are my glasses? Oh, that has a stencil name on it. Stencil glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. I could have just used my intuition and just made all the clues a pop up in front of me, but I kind of like really wanted to look at it. So if that's A, and this is C, B's over here. Oh, what's the weapon? Brand name might give us something to go on. Okay, I guess that's all I can see on that one. Cool. What do you think? Have a word with the witness. It's not often we get eyeballs in a case like this. Hello. Sir, I'm Detective. <laughs> Talk to you from the back. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckoned I'd take a shortcut. He's looking right at us. He's telling the truth. I'm, I can assume that. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Hmm. Dropped your wallet. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Oh, he's straight up telling the truth. He's not. All right. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regular, so it kind of stood out. Contents of the wallet. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? He has that, oh, I can never do such a thing. What's my intuition tell me? I don't really want to... It's a simple question, All right. Mr. Wilkie. I wouldn't know what was in that wallet. I, I never touched it. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. Okay. When I believe you saw it. the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. Thank you for your help, Mr. Three Wilkie. out of four, we'll correct. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more. That's better than... 
If you have to, I guess. None, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. If you're done here, we'll head over there now. Hell yeah! Got all our clues. My boy taking forever. Oh, I want to make him drive. No! I have to drive! Even though it said make your partner drive! My driving's horrible. Let's roll Bunker out! Hill you know where that is? Behind Bunker Hill. A couple blocks north of Central Station. Smart ass. <laughs> Behind Bunker so, Hill. What do we tell the wife? We play it by the book. There's We're no gonna try to play yet, it. So let's see how it plays out. Normal here and not hurt any civilians. Could be a car theft gone wrong. Make Black drive somewhere lonely, then give him a tap. Lord, I am horrible. Obviously, someone got a little heavy. There's other cops in the area. We're not the only one. How so, genius? Where is Adrian? If you've gone to all the trouble to steal the car and it goes wrong, you leave the body behind, Ooh. not the car. All right. There, Smooth driving. Doesn't add up. Hmm. Well, we know that guy didn't do it. Just an honest railroad railroad worker. No, oh, what happened? Over on Lincoln Avenue. This guy's driving along and his oil light comes on. He stops the car and gets out. <laughs> he pops the hood and he's on a rail crossing. <laughs> oh, you got it. He's got his head under there checking the oil. The Southern Pacific Oh, look at that timing, yo. Car doing 90 miles an hour. The car came to a rest more than a mile down the track. Wee you, wee you, wee you. Not hitting anything. You'll get plenty of blood and guts and mindless stupidity with the traffic folks. And who needs a second amendment when we'll give a goddamn fool the license to get behind the wheel of an automobile? As I run into everything I see. If it's a kidnapping, why leave the victim's ID? If it's a murder, why leave the car? The evidence doesn't add up. Free lesson, Phelps. Evidence will only get you so far. If you ask me, the whole thing feels hinky as hell. Hinky. What I wouldn't give to have your powers of intuition, Mikowski. Don't worry, kid. Keep watching the master and you'll get there one day. You're masters of intuition. There's so many dispatchers. This is my house, y'all. I passed it up. Be thinking about that. Oh! Ah, oh, me. Yo! Can we try to get there in one piece? Sorry, Bowowski. I'm trying to do my job here. I am serving my community, and you don't appreciate it. So, I don't want to hear it. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. You say I ain't here for the drama. Where your mama? Just a minute. A fast minute. LAPD They're all dressed like that. <laughs> Every LAPD woman we come around. We have some bad news and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. We can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. She looks like she hasn't seen her husband in a month. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband Knocked may him. be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We, we've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. It sounds like she's willing ready? to give up information at least. Okay? But you never know. Till they start going. Anything I'm going to wait for my husband's safety. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Ah. 
Not everything here is going to be relevant. Ah, picks up a pot. Your husband is the murderer! <laughs> but it's just a pot! Alright, where am I even going? Have a good look around. There's gotta be something in here to go on. C. For Kavana. <laughs> oh, Kavana. Kavana, whatever. Amy mm. Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. Contact R and I by telephone or game well whenever you have a lead to a rundown. Seattle. A used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. Now we know that's what he looks like. To my Adrian. Hurry this back. More and more interesting. It's in here. In his glasses case or something? Oh, the ones that he dropped. Adrian. The one with no glasses in them. Alright. Do they have like a separate bedroom? I guess there's nothing in here. Through the kitchen! Do you have more of those? Just lying around? To the backyard! Oh, where's that water heater? She said back to the left. And let me tell you, I do not know my sides, I guess. Or maybe she lied. Did he come out here? Is this the water heater? Here it is. No use leaving the thing half finished. Am I literally doing this for the house right now when did i become a water heater um expert although they're just blue and brown um i'm just gonna press a and hope it goes <laughs> that one's probably that one yeah you're missing that one so the pipe missing from mr black's heater is the same one that killed him huh Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. I love achievements unlocks. Hmm. Interesting. What? What is a tweezer doing in front of my lawn? Knock knock. Oh. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. Do they not have their own phones? How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt. Of Back then, they didn't have Google. Thanks for your help. Duh, 1940s. Is there anything else in here before I leave that I can look at? More Kavanaugh! He be using a lot of that shit. Like an old crazy guy would. All right, partner. We outies, five thousies. Is that all my clues? Let me see how many do we have. Oh wow, we got a lot. Is my partner behind me. Yep, means we're done. Cool beans. Did it all. Thing 
Let's go to Cavanagh's Bar. Do a little K turn right here. Perfect. Do not cross the intersections. I do not want to hurt you with my reckless driving. Ooh, which way should we go? Let's go up here. <laughs> Philip ran for his life there. Oh, we should have went down. Oh. Oh, hello, fellow policemen. Yo, why are you brake checking me, dog? That ain't the law. Like Yo Gotti said, that law. Alright, now we're back on track. <laughs> back on track. I should have just took the hill and went for it, bro. Brakes are very bad. Well, maybe you should next time I press Y at the door and you don't want to drive. And I have to drive. Ah, uh, LA traffic is horrible, even in the 40s. You get out of here. Stop your engines right where you're at! Alright. Now we're back on track. Back where we should be. My oh shit! <laughs> Even the car go poof, but you know it's not gonna park like that because this game auto parks. Hey, I know you. No, you don't. We were at school together. How, how about you buy me a drink for for old times' sake? Um, you were drunk, sir. No. Get another someone. Hmm. LAPD. We're looking for any known associates of Adrian Black. Adrian? He sure most nice with Frank Morgan. They camp out the table in the back and talk on a closing. Frank's back there now. Oh, why don't you look at that, Frank? My coffee faster. Frank Morgan? Who's asking? Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend. How's he talking Adrian like that? Black. Nobody around goes. Yeah, I know. Like, if I was in a restaurant, I'd be like, missing? <laughs> why are they oh, here I for you? I heard that. <clears throat> Tough break. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything I about that? I wish I had blood? one of those hats. Oh, no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. So I could be a detective. I like Adrian. He He's a good boss. Oh, please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. Mm, what does intuition say? Remove an answer, ask a community. Nobody wants to ask a community. Why is he making that face at me? What do you mean? I think you were in on it, Morgan. You drove down there, and you let Black have it. Ooh, I'm a bad boy. Is that the best <laughs> you got? Asshole. When did you last see Adrian? Hell, I don't know. Uh, I had plenty to drink last night. Things are a little sketchy. Um, You're lying, Morgan. What happened to Adrian? I have ten guys who say I was here the whole night. You think you can prove I was there? Here we go. You signed your name and left it on the slaughterhouse receipt, Frank. We couldn't have you colder if we found you curled up in the back seat. Achievements means you All do right. something right. I helped. He wanted it to look like his car got hijacked. He's falling for some dame up in Seattle and now he's Make got a dab. Of life with me. Goddamn fool. Where exactly is Black Hold up? No idea. I he, totally he, knows. he totally knows. He totally knows.
I really want to play bad cop, but I also want to play good cop. I wish I didn't use my intuition. Damn. I'm tired of your shtick, Morgan. Spill it! Or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. He's holed up at my place. Yes! I'm waiting for some money to come to the <laughs> Hell yeah. An address? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. I think that's all. Thanks for your help, Morgan. We I probably it. didn't get the first one right. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Cuff him, let him go. It's up to you, Phelps. There's no way I'm writing this idiot up. Root beers all around, doll. He said he was in on it. Man, I don't know. Top of my class back east. I got drinking. Now I'm dip. waiting tables. You're getting nothing more from me. We'll let him go. But he did say he was in on it. Can you drive to this one? All right. Where to? Awesome. We can get him to drive. I want to see how like good their driving is or how long it takes. I've met some pretty good liars in my time. People who sound convincing because they actually believe their own bullshit. <laughs> the type is clever. Hard to catch out. Frank Morgan is not one of those people. No, he is not. Oh, he drives on the trolley lane. Well, I guess the trolley lane is the regular street, too. Okay, go ahead. If that is a trolley lane, I'm just assuming. He drives white with it, though. Oh, he just got cut off, yo. He got cut off. Found a realist guy in, Phelps. That's LA for you. Get cut off. Either you merge or you crash. You never know. You just gotta roll with it. I'm doing decent so far, so I'm not. Um. Too mad about it. I could be doing better though. Let's check the place out. Come on. Apartment two. Wants me to look at the mailbox, even though I know it's apartment two. Apartment two. Apartment one through four. Help you, gentlemen. Huh? LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Look, I'm really sorry about this. I don't want to hear it. Never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from LA. I won't put up a struggle. Just let me get my things. I knew it. Phelps, go after him. I'll try and hit him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. I know he went this way. I don't even have to know. I know. As soon as you see his apartment. No point running, Adrian. Ladders. You know the jig is up. You know that's where they went. Apartmenters. Mr. Black, get back here right now. How do they all know how to use the drain? Like every person uses a drain. It's over, it's Adrian. Right there, Adrian. What an idiot. Like he ran right to the Why car in his Black. Christmas sweater. Is this December? I it would be easier. <sighs> no, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, no, you're under it's arrest. August. <laughs> We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. He went, dang nabbit. I don't goof that myself. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case and in fine style too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. Hell Keep that yeah. Up and you got a good rep. Bukowski here. You can go a long way in this department. Captain Gordon Leary likes me, and that's what matters. Case closed. Hell yeah. Let's see. 
11 out of 14 clues. I missed some clues? Dang. I guess I didn't look behind like a telephone pole or something. <laughs> Ooh, vehicle damage. $10 city damage. The right evidence that she would have spilled the beans on her husband. I should have just like kept questioning her, but I didn't want to like lose the case either. Oh well. Case closed. I will see you guys on the next L.A. Noir episode. Get right with ya.